NATO, Origin and Relevance in the 21st Century. Welcome to another episode of Chronicles, where we delve into significant events that have shaped our world. In this episode, we turn our attention to the creation of NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Join us as we explore the origins, purpose, and impact of this influential alliance that emerged in the wake of World War II. The creation of NATO was a direct response to the challenges posed by the aftermath of World War II. In 1949, 12 nations from North America and Europe came together to sign the North Atlantic Treaty, forming an unprecedented military alliance. The primary objective was to ensure collective defense against any potential aggression and to promote stability and security in the region. The original members of NATO, also known as the founding members, were Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Iceland, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, the United Kingdom, and the United States. These 12 countries signed the North Atlantic Treaty on April 4, 1949, in Washington, D.C., officially establishing the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. The purpose of NATO was to create a collective defense alliance among the member nations to deter and defend against potential Soviet aggression during the Cold War. The founding members laid the groundwork for the alliance's principles and structure, setting the stage for NATO's evolution and expansion in the following years. The Cold War tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union played a significant role in shaping NATO's purpose. With the Soviet Union emerging as a formidable global power, NATO provided a vital defense mechanism against the perceived threat of Soviet expansionism. It served as a deterrent and symbolized Western unity in the face of the Eastern Bloc. NATO's commitment to collective defense was exemplified through its doctrine of, an attack on one is an attack on all. This principle, known as collective security, meant that any aggression against a NATO member would be met with a unified response from the entire alliance. It aimed to deter potential adversaries and maintain peace through a credible defense posture. Throughout its history, NATO has been involved in various peacekeeping and humanitarian missions. One significant example is its intervention in the Balkans during the 1990s. NATO forces played a crucial role in restoring stability and protecting civilian populations in the region, showcasing the alliance's commitment to upholding democratic values and human rights. Over the years, NATO has expanded its membership, welcoming new countries into the alliance. This expansion has extended its reach and influence, allowing for greater collaboration and cooperation among nations committed to shared values of democracy, individual liberty, and the rule of law. However, NATO has not been without its share of debates and criticisms. Some have questioned the relevance of the alliance in a post-Cold War world, while others have raised concerns about its involvement in military operations outside its traditional geographic area. Additionally, debates over defense spending and burden-sharing among member countries have been ongoing topics of discussion. NATO has adapted to address emerging security challenges, such as cyber warfare, terrorism, and hybrid threats. It has sought to strengthen its capabilities, enhance strategic partnerships, and foster dialogue with other international organizations. It is important to address the question of whether there was an agreement between Russia and NATO that NATO would not move closer to Russia. There was no formal agreement to this effect. However, during the 1990s, there were informal understandings or assurances given by NATO leaders to Soviet leaders that NATO would not expand its membership eastward. One of the most well-known of these assurances was given by U.S. Secretary of State James Baker to Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev in February 1990. Baker reportedly told Gorbachev that NATO would not expand one inch eastward. However, there is no written record of this conversation, and Baker has since clarified that he did not make a specific promise about NATO expansion. In 1997, NATO and Russia signed the NATO-Russia Founding Act, which committed the two sides to cooperate in areas of common interest, including arms control, counterterrorism, and peacekeeping. The Founding Act did not explicitly rule out NATO expansion, and Russia has continued to express its concerns about the alliance's eastward movement. This has been a major source of tension between Russia and NATO. 
In recent years, Russia has accused NATO of violating the spirit of the Founding Act by expanding into Eastern Europe. This has been a major source of tension between Russia and NATO, and it has been cited by Russia as one of the reasons for its invasion of Ukraine in 2022. It is important to note that there is no consensus on whether or not NATO broke any promises to Russia about NATO expansion. Some experts believe that there were informal understandings that were not kept, while others believe that Russia is simply trying to justify its aggressive actions in Ukraine. As we conclude our exploration of NATO, it is important to note that opinions on the alliance vary among individuals and nations. Some view NATO as a crucial bulwark for peace and security, while others hold reservations and question its relevance in a rapidly changing world. The debate surrounding NATO's role and effectiveness continues to evolve. We encourage you to delve deeper into this topic, to examine multiple perspectives, and to engage in informed discussions. By understanding the complexities and diverse viewpoints, we can gain a more comprehensive understanding of NATO's impact on global affairs and whether it remains relevant in the 21st century. Remember, in the pursuit of knowledge, it is essential to consider different viewpoints, examine historical context, and analyze the evolving dynamics of international relations. Only through a balanced exploration can we form a well-rounded understanding of NATO and its place in our world. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Chronicles. Join us next time as we continue to unravel the stories behind the events that have shaped our history.